Assam grapples with floods every year by the Brahmaputra River and its tributaries originating outside India. We will provide assistance to Assam for flood management and, and related projects. Himachal Pradesh suffered extensive losses due to floods last year. Our government will provide assistance to the state for reconstruction and rehabilitation through multilateral development assistance. Uttarakhand, Uttarakhand too, suffered losses due to cloud bursts and massive landslides. We will provide assistance to the state. Recently, Sikkim witnessed devastating flash floods and landslides that wreaked havoc across the state. Our government will provide assistance to the state. Tourism. Tourism has always been. Tourism has always been a part of our civilization. Our efforts in positioning India as a global tourist destination will also create jobs, stimulate investments, and unlock economic opportunities for other sectors, in addition to the measures outlined in the interim budget. I propose the following measures. Vishnupad Temple at Gaya and Mahabodhi Temple at Bodh Gaya in Bihar are of immense spiritual significance. Comprehensive development of Vishnupad Temple Corridor and Mahabodhi Temple Corridor will be supported, modeled on the successful Kashi Vishwanath Temple Corridor to transform them into world-class pilgrim and tourist destinations. Rajgir. Rajgir holds immense religious significance for Hindus, Buddhists and Jains. The 20th Tirthankara Munisvarata Temple in the Jain complex, Jain temple complex is ancient. The Saptarishi or the seven hot springs form a warm water Brahmkund that is sacred. A comprehensive development initiative for Rajgir will be undertaken. Our government will support the development of Nalanda as a tourist center besides reviving Nalanda University to its glorious stature. Odisha's scenic beauty, Odisha's scenic beauty, temples, monuments, craftsmanship, wild sa wildlife sanctuaries, natural landscapes, and pristine beaches make it an ultimate tourism destination. Our government will provide assistance for their development to Odisha as well. Priority eight, innovation, research, and development. We will oper operationalize the Anusandan National Research Fund for basic research and prototype development. Further, we will set up a mechanism for spurring private sector-driven research and innovation at commercial scale with a financing pool of one lakh crore rupees in line with the announcement in the interim budget. Space economy, with our continued emphasis on expanding the space economy by five times in the next 10 years, a venture capital fund of 1,000 crore rupees will be set up. Priority nine, next generation reforms. Economic policy framework. We will formulate an economic policy framework to delineate the overarching approach to economic development and set the scope of the next generation of reforms 
for facilitating employment opportunities and sustaining high growth. Our government will initiate and incentivize reforms for one, improving productivity of factors of production, and two, facilitating markets and sectors to become more efficient. These reforms will cover all factors of production, namely land, labor, capital, and entrepreneurship, and technology as an enabler of improving total factor productivity and bridging inequality. Effective implementation of several of these reforms requires collaboration between the center and the states and building consensus as development of the country lies in development of the states. For promoting competitive federalism and incentivizing states for faster implementation of reforms, I propose to earmark a significant part of the 50-year interest-free loan. Working with states, we will initiate the following reforms. Land-related reforms and actions, both in the rural and urban areas, will cover land administration, will cover, one, land administration, planning and management, and two, urban planning usage and building bylaws. These will be incentivized for completion within the next three years through appropriate fiscal support. Rural land-related actions. Rural land-related actions will include, one, assignment of unique land parcel identification number, UL PIN, or BU Aadhaar for all lands. Two, digitization of cadastral maps. Three, survey of subdivisions, survey of map sub subdivisions as per current ownership. Four, establishment of land registry. And five, linking to the farmer's registry. These actions will also facilitate credit flow and other agricultural services. Urban land-related actions. Land records in urban areas will be digitized with GIS mapping. An IT-based system for property record administration, updating, and tax administration will be established. These will also facilitate improving the financial position of urban local bodies. Labor-related reforms. Service to labor. Our government will facilitate the provision of a wide array of services to labor, including those for employment and skilling. A comprehensive integration of eShrum portal with other portals will facilitate such one-stop solution open architecture databases for the rapidly changing labor market, skilled requirements, and available job roads, and a mechanism to connect job aspirants with potential employers and skill providers will be covered in these services. Shram Suvida and Samadhan portal. Shram Suvida and Samadhan portal will be revamped to enhance ease of compliance for industry and trade. Capital and entrepreneurship related reforms, financial sector vision and strategy. For meeting financi financing needs of the economy, our government will bring out a financial sector vision and strategy document to prepare the sector in terms of size, capacity and skills. This will set the agenda for the next five years and guide the work of the government, regulators, financial institutions, and market participants. Taxonomy for climate finance. We will develop taxonomy for climate finance for enhancing the availability of capital for climate adaptation and mitigation. This will support achievement of the country's climate commitments and green transition. Variable, variable capital company structure. We will seek the required legislative approval for providing an efficient and flexible mode for financing leasing of aircrafts and ships and pooled funds of private equity through a variable company structure. 
foreign direct investments and overseas investment. The rules and regulations for foreign direct investment and overseas investments will be simplified to one, facilitate foreign direct investments, two, nudge prioritization, and three, promote opportunities for using Indian rupee as a currency for overseas investment. NPS Vatsalya. NPS Vatsalya, a plan for contribution by parents and guardians for minors, will be started. On attaining the age of majority, a plan can be converted seamlessly into a normal NPS account. Use of technology.